I came out in the yard around close to 7.30, and a few minutes later, I heard this big boom, big, huge boom. Adrienne Long had just let her dogs out when she bed. heard the noise. Another neighbor told us off camera it was so loud it woke him up. And I knew something happened on the bridge, but then I looked up and, and I seen cars backing up and I knew something bad happened, but I didn't know what it was. A dump truck had crossed the center line on the bridge and hit a pickup truck head on. The driver of the dump truck and three people in the pickup were killed. A fourth passenger in the pickup was airlifted to University Hospital with serious injuries. Crews were on the scene for hours clearing debris. The boat the pickup truck was pulling was taken from the scene, destroyed. Drivers on Highway 5 were detoured around the Niangua Bridge for about six hours. We had a lot of fuel on the road. Uh, we had a hazmat team come out and clean that up and uh, then our crash team came out of Springfield uh, to uh, do uh, the major investigating side on it. Neither Corporal Blankenbecker nor Long, who's lived along the river for 16 years, can remember any crash on the bridge more serious than Wednesdays. This is just unbelievable so bad. There's been a few minor accidents maybe, but Nothing, nothing this huge or this big or anything that I that we're aware of anyway. But Long has had concerns about the bridge before. There is a lot of cars that try to pass on the bridge. We have seen that numerous times. And I just thought, boy, it's just a matter of time before somebody has a bad accident trying to pass on the bridge. While there's no indication either vehicle was trying to pass at the time of the crash, Long says she hopes people will drive carefully on the bridge. Juliet Dreyer. KRCG 13 News, Camden County.